to £90 a year on water bills to pay for the mistakes made by the water companies. Is that fair? Uh, I don't think that is fair, but I was delighted that Ruth Kelly, former Labour MP, now chairing the Water UK organisations, came out and gave that apology. Uh, what I think has to happen, and I, and I know there's a lot of controversy about this, but I want the Ofwat, the uh, water regulator, that actually regulates the amount that can be charged to the consumer, I want them to come into this in a much stronger way now and to say that the lion's share, if not all, of the capital investment now has to come out of the reserves um, and profits of the companies. I don't think that's a particularly sensational thing to say because the regulator is there to do that if it has the power and wish to do so. So I want to see that well, happen. Well, some will say this is a failure of regulation, but... I was, was water privatisation a mistake by the government you served under? No, I don't think it was, but of course it was always going to be the case with water, as with transport, with other things that we privatised, that for it to work properly you had to have a good regulator in place. And my own worry about this is that the regulation side of this is not adequate. And the other thing I'm worried about too is I hope that the government, I'm confident that the government isn't going to cut environmental regulation in some way in the future. I mean, we've got to keep a very tight environmental control as well. All of those things, and I think giving credit where credit's due, there is, there has been ongoing investment by these companies, but unfortunately, the investment that they have made has just not dealt with what is undoubtedly now a big question on pollution.